previously on Hell's Kitchen. This is a challenge that I give to every new cook that I hire. The final four competed in a leftovers challenge. The person winning the challenge today is Elsie. Elsie's chicken soup landed her in the spotlight. I'm gonna cook on television? What are we gonna do? We're gonna make the most amazing risotto. Elsie? Oh no. While Elsie made her morning show debut. I won yesterday's challenge. Wait, yeah. Elsie! The others plotted against her. Hey Jess, what are you gonna do if Elsie's in the weeds tonight in the garnish station? Nothing. <laughs> During dinner service, Jessica got the kitchen off to a rough start. Sorry, like I said earlier, we may be busy, but I'm not sloughing it out. Right, chef. Oh, that looks like picture. To get back on track, Chef Ramsay shook things up. Switch. Jessica on fish, Ralph on vegetables, Elsie on starters, Michael on meat. But the sudden switch to starters sank Elsie. It's on the same table, Elsie. I'm a mess. What can I tell Hello. you? Hello. Shut up. I called out the order to go at the same time. Yeah, because you're addressing that as if it's your last thing you'll ever touch in Hell's Kitchen. Come on, Elsie. And the others stuck to their plan and didn't bail her out. No one said a f***ing word to me the whole night. But in the end, the lack of teamwork resulted in a huge step backwards for all. I'm not going to agonize the pain any longer. Bang! I've had enough. Shut it down! And for the first time, nobody was safe in Hell's Kitchen. No one is going to nominate. Jessica. Yes, chef. Step forward, please. Elsie. Step forward, please. Elsie, give me your jacket. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. After two weeks of being close to elimination, Jessica is relieved to be part of the final three. Whoa, look. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're talking. I'm here, and I am so ecstatic to be here. I think it's the happiest I've been. I mean, making it to the final three is absolutely amazing. Hey, to everybody, go all up, Fallen Brothers. I felt like I am keeping up with those guys. I definitely was stronger on the line than Elsie. So awesome to be here. I didn't think I was gonna be here. The bottom line is that the three of us have always been a team. You know what I mean? I think all three of us are here because of all three of us. I think each one of us have helped each other be here. You're doing great, man. Thanks. Jessica, she pours her heart into work every day. She gives it her all. She doesn't give up. You know, she's so strong, that little one. She's awesome. Can't go to bed till I drink all the champagne. Yeah, we're gonna finish it. Then I'm going to bed. Yeah. I'm tired. Hello, my spider. Jessica and I indulged on some of the champagne. I think Jessica's a little smaller than me, or maybe she drank a little bit more, so she got a little loopy. <laughs> <laughs> Your flip flop flies. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm done. Good night, guys. Love you both. Okay, good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. everybody. Hello. Hello, who's that? Michael. And Michael is Gordon. There's an emergency. I need you, Ralph, and Jessica with your jackets on in the blue kitchen straight away. Yes, Chef. Quickly. Bye. Hey, you guys. Chef just called. He wants us with our jackets in the kitchen now. They need us in our chef clothes in the blue kitchen right now. Chef is waiting for us. Let's go, Ralph. Come on, boy. Serious? Yeah. Jessica, Ralph, come on. Uh, tell him this is not a fake. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Get Ralph going, man. I'm sick of this. Get in. <laughs> no. You're yeah, right. You guys are going to miss out. Shut up. When Michael said that the chef called on the phone, not for one second did I believe it. Come on, guys, let's go. But when uh, Chef Scott peeked his head into the, into the room, I knew it was for real. 
I tried to tell you, man. I had no idea what was in store for us. Yes, I know it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm fully aware of that. House Kitchen's in high demand. In less than 15 hours time, we're open. Tonight's dinner service will mark the first time ever that Hell's Kitchen is opening two nights in a row. Our baker hasn't been able to provide us with our bread. So we're gonna bake some bread, now and quick. When you've got your own businesses and these kind of things happen, you don't stay in bed and go to sleep. You get out of bed and find gears you didn't think you had. Now, you're looking for an extra gear. Let's go. With the restaurant opening tonight, conquering the bread crisis will test their stamina, desire, and dedication. Good night. Good night, Chef. Good night, Chef. OK, you have to get the bread baked. You have to get some sleep. It's a very simple recipe. We'll do it like this. You get two blooms ready, and we'll measure out two batches and keep it separate. All right, and then we'll start. OK. I was out of it and slightly drunk, so I didn't really know what the hell was going on for a couple of minutes. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Good night, Good night Chef. Chef. Thanks. Hey, bright and breezy, Chef. Always. Well, kids, welcome to Hell's Kitchen once again. She's Ralph, bomb. wake up. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, <Bye>. Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one night I wanted to go to bed early and like get into sleep, too. Thank you, Chef. It was a very long day. Like, I'm definitely not ready to, like, give up, but I'm tired, though. All right, so where are we at with this? Let me tell you something. It's 10 to 6. We're not going to be done here for another hour. All right, well, should we do the whole rounds of sleeping, or what? All right, you're your first cup. Jessica's a little tipsy, so she's probably going to hurt us more than help us, so we send her back to sleep. Guys, drink lots of water, OK? She just tell her to stay in bed. That was my plan. Huh? She needs all the sleep that she can get. Drunk ass, teary eyed woman. <laughs> An hour later, Michael and Ralph have baked most of the bread. They can't be us. We're too strong, man. Huh? We're too strong. And Jessica is finally ready to help. Too badass to get tripped up by any of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Sleep and tired and achy and weary and beat up. There ain't no time for it right now. Now it's just time for, you know, work, 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 work. You know, you see how it is in a restaurant. There is no rest in restaurants. Fresh bread. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Michael, can I do that? I want to do something, please. I really feel like me and Ralph carried the team. Yeah, I think that, you know, without Jessica there, we still got it done. Don't touch. We're leaving there. We don't, um, we don't cover them up, no foil, nothing. That's it. Done and done. Come on, let's go. Enough of this fucking yeah. jerking around, please. Black team, let's go. With the restaurant opening in 11 hours, the contestants rush to get some much needed rest. But two hours of sleep is all they're going to get. Get up, get your coat on, get your chef pants on, roll call, guys. Out of bed. See you guys out there. Come on, Ralph. Good morning. Morning, morning Chef. Jeff. The final three. Jessica. Yes, Chef. How was the bread experience? The bread experience was, it was fun. Another learning experience, and I think it came out well, so it was good. Michael. Chef. What time did you finish? I think we walked out of here about 7.30 or 7.45. So, you're well rested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in just under eight hours, the restaurant opens again tonight. But tonight's something special. And all three of you are gonna come up with a new, exciting, creative, inspirational dish that reflects you. And then, the customers will decide your lives in Hell's Kitchen will depend solely on your individual dishes. 
Next challenge. This is my favorite challenge so far in the house kitchen. Because this is a touch of magic that every restaurant should have. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Blue kitchen. Okay, the perfect souffle. Absolutely crucial in any restaurant. Great highlight, great fun. And when one customer sees it, they all want it. Ready? Egg whites. Mixer on. There are four steps to making the perfect souffle. The right amount of sugar must be added. Lightly sprinkle with the sugar. The egg whites must be whipped to a stiff peak for the souffle to rise. There you go, stiff peak. Okay. And the flavored ingredients must be properly folded into the egg mixture. And now you fold. And then the finished mix must be poured into the mold and topped off. Raspberry on top. Now. You've got the most amazing tray of ingredients, from fresh pineapple to coconut to passion fruit to bananas to jam. You decide. You've got 10 minutes to make the perfect souffle. Be creative and be inspirational. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Let's go. With little sleep, these three finalists must rise to the occasion to impress Chef Ramsay with their souffles. As soon as I saw that tray, I said, I know where I'm going. Chocolate, hazelnut, mint, bowl, done deal. Come on, guys. Good. You know, it was, it was tough. We're so tired. We have had no sleep when there's any sort of like time restraint like that. You forget about steps, you're moving so fast. Come on, Jesse. It's a flick. It's very touchy. If you don't whip your egg whites, like, you know, if they're slightly overdone or underdone, I mean, you can see the difference. One and a half minutes to go. I'm looking for texture, creativity. An inspirational finish. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, Jessica, can I have yours first, please? Yes, Chef. What's inside it? A little bit of mint and a little bit of raspberries. Ralph. Chocolate, hazelnut, and mint. Michael. I have a raspberry chocolate. Okay. The real test is when the souffle bakes. It takes 15 minutes for it to hopefully rise. When they work, it's a dream come true. But when they don't work, it's a big disappointment. Jessica, looks a little bit spongy. <laughs> That's pretty shit. That is the worst souffle I've ever tasted. Sure. Ralph. Mm. Hazelnut, chocolate, nice flavor. You needed to put more egg white in there to lift it. Michael. Mm. When you taste that, you'll understand that it needs more sugar. The winner is... Ralph, first. <laughs> Second place goes to Michael. And third place goes to Jess. Truth be told, you know, I've been laying low with all these challenges. And uh, today I decided to really turn up the heat a little bit and show up for this one. And I won the souffle challenge. You know these challenges are crucial. And you know the winner always gets an exciting prize. And tonight, you get to choose between beef, chicken, and tuna for the most inspirational dish that's going on the menu this evening. I didn't get to go on a helicopter. I didn't get to go on Good Day Live. I didn't get to go out to eat. I got to choose beef, chicken, or fish. There are only three dishes on there, and you get first choice. Each chef will have to create an entree for tonight's dinner service from one of the three main items. Ralph. I'll take the beef, chef. That's huge, man. You know beef Thanks, sells chef. like nobody's business. Michael, you've got second choice. Tuna, chef. Jessica, you get the bird. <sighs> and remember, those customers are judging you on that dish. And your stay in Hell's Kitchen will depend on that dish. Please don't forget that. Let's go. 10 minutes, let's go. The chefs must create their dishes using only what's available in the kitchen. You have some, some great stuff to work with. It's just why I'm sitting here looking at the... Uh, break out of the norm a little bit. That's what you should be thinking about. 
and I'm just going to uh, make the dish simple to make and with full of flavor. I have a uh, sesame crusted big eye tuna with uh, roasted vegetables and a lobster rice peel off. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now to go and then bust it all out. That's where I'm working. So that works for you. I wouldn't make it too confusing. That's the only advice that I would make. You know, listening to the reward, I didn't realize how big it was. And man, I realize I'm lucky. Filet Mignon's been the number one seller here at Hell's Kitchen since the day we started. So that's where I'm going. The ingredients that you're thinking about in the direction that you're heading right now is, is, is a good one. Ralph and Michael seem to have a plan for their dish, while Jessica is still searching for a clue. I mean, chicken's chicken, you know what I mean? I'm not even a huge fan of it myself. I'm trying to think of what would appeal to people, and I think people love goat cheese, you know? And then, you know, I'll hey, buy cheese. Make sure if you write something down that it's something that you have to do, because once you're committed to the menu and it's printed, that's uh, gotcha. there's no changing it. Can I ask you about it? Sure. Your professional opinion? I can try to answer okay. as best I can. All right. Um, I can um, take the chicken breast and, you know, stuff it, put it in the next little. Okay, that sounds great, but what do you propose for your chicken? I can pound it out and do a roll, and then it'll also make a, a nice presentation. I never uh, make chicken at the house. Oh, hopefully it'll come out, you know, I feel like I'm definitely making the most out of it. I'm doing chicken stuffed with goat cheese and, and some herbs and wrapping it in prosciutto. Thanks. As always, Chef Ramsay will be evaluating the aspiring chefs on their performance in the kitchen. But tonight, their fate will also depend on how their individual dishes are received. How's everybody doing? Pushing chef, pushing hard. I'm gonna dig deep tonight and I'm gonna find that gear that I haven't hit yet. I'm gonna be able to push myself to work harder and faster than I ever have. I've gone to bed at 8 o'clock in the morning and been at work at 11 o'clock in a much worse shape than I am right now. Not the first time. <laughs> right? There is so much adrenaline, caffeine, and sugar running through my body right now. Uh, sleep is the last thing on my mind. How are we doing, Dream Team? Word. Hey. Yep. Okay, guys. Quick two seconds together, please. It's been a bloody hard day. Everyone's feeling a little bit tired. We're opening in just under an hour, while the diners will decide on whose is the best main course. I'll be judging you on your performance in the kitchen. Based on those two factors, I'll be deciding who will be in the final of Hell's Kitchen and who will be going home tonight. And let's not forget, our objective is still to serve and complete a fully booked dining room. And you must want that as well, this far down the line. Hell yes, yeah. chef. Let's go, guys. All right. While the customers continue to flock to Hollywood for Chef Ramsay's world-renowned cuisine, tonight, he's shining the spotlight on the final three. The menu features Ralph's filet mignon, Michael's sesame-crusted tuna, and Jessica's stuffed chicken breast. Filet mignon looks really good. Ooh, that's Mary, the sesame crusted big eye. Spring chicken. The chicken, lovely. Although this has become an individual competition, the aspiring chefs still share a common goal. Guys, first table just arrived. Are we ready? Yes, chef. A fully booked dining room is going to be served tonight. But if you don't do that, no one deserves their very own restaurant. Don't forget that. First order in, Chef. Thank you. OK, here we go. On order, two covers, table 24, one lobster biscuit, one Caesar salad. Main course, one chicken, one filet. Yes, yes chef. chef. This is our night. We are going to do it. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Tonight, Chef Ramsay has secretly invited the aspiring chef's family and friends to sample their cuisine. They haven't seen or spoken to their families in several weeks. So, Jessica, mm -hmm. it might feel like you've only got one thing to do at the moment. When those desserts oh. start going out, you're cooking your chicken and sending the desserts, yes? Yes. In addition to being responsible for their individual main courses, each chef must also manage a station. Michael is on appetizers, Ralph is on vegetables, and Jessica is on desserts. Away now, and a latte, biscuits, a salad, pear salad. Yes, chef. That's the Caesar salad with no bacon, please. Yes, chef. Yes, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, please. A half hour into dinner service, Michael has the appetizers flying out of the kitchen, and it's time for the first main courses. Right, fillets there. Where is the chicken? It's coming, chef. It it's coming, pink. yes? Yes, it's coming. 
How long? I need a minute, Chef. Right, stop the table. I need a minute, guys. Yep, yeah, there you go. Redress it. As always, Chef Ramsay wants every dish in an order to arrive at the hot plate at the same time to ensure quality and freshness. Can we come together? First table. Yes, that's my fault. Absolutely. Oh, I know it's your fault, sweetheart. You don't have to remind me of that one. I need you talking together. Now he's just gone and ruined his creation. Right. Start again. One minute on the hot plate. Let's go, Jesse. Sorry, guys. I thought it was done. It was a little pink. It was the first time I had ever steamed anything. And just that one piece, it just wasn't done. And I was just like, I had to get it. You know, you got to wing it. I don't expect to wait for chicken. Do you know why? Because it's easy, chef. Yeah, it's very easy. I still, I need, you guys, that chicken. Give it, I need, I need two minutes, OK? Can you hold two, two minutes? minutes? Yeah. Back in the dining room, in order to keep the family's presence a secret, they've been seated in the balcony, out of sight from their loved ones, working in the kitchen. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Yeah, good to have you with us tonight. So I'll let you discover the menu. Take your time. I know my fiance's cooking. Thank you. I think. Yes, you do, big time. <laughs> Let's go on order three covers table 52. VIP table, yeah? I don't know what the hell's going on tonight, but we've got VIPs in. Yes. Main course, one tuna, one chicken, one filet. Yes, yes, yes. Filet medium, tuna, medium well. Yes, chef. Pour the sauce, please. We have got to roll on these main courses. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes. Let's go, yes? And you have the confidence to tell me and that little bit of assertiveness that I need coming out now. Three minutes for the starters, six main courses first. You got it. Tonight, it has to happen. Yes, chef. Let's go. An hour into dinner service, everything seems to be running smoothly in the kitchen. Uh, that fillet steak is beautifully cooked. Thank you, chef. But how are their courses being received in the dining room? This is orgasmic. <laughs> Really good. But I'm liking this. this. They did an awesome job on this chicken. I don't like this at all. I don't want this on my plate. Where's the chicken, please? Coming right now, chef. Tuna, where's the tuna? Right here, chef. Let me do that. Yeah, you do your job. Let me fucking do mine, Ralph, yeah? You got it. Thank you. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go complete the table. Right, now we're getting warm. Now we're stepping up again. 24 dessert, chef. Okay, Jessica. Yes, got dessert. Table 24 dessert away. Yes, chef. How are you guys? Yep. On my tuna? Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes on the rare tuna? Yes. How long for table 24 dessert? Probably about, let's see. All I want is a fucking simple, straightforward answer. Like six, six minutes, the desserts are in. Six minutes, thank you very much. Oh, I'm gonna bring these up, okay? For you, right here. What are you giving the meatball? Because I gotta go do dessert. Okay? For the first part of dinner service, Jessica only had to be concerned with her chicken dish. Jessica, why are we running around the kitchen with a chicken? Now, with dessert orders coming in, she's feeling the heat. How long for table 24? Um, I need, I still need like five minutes, Chef. Jessica, what do you need me to do for you over here then? Um, just the chicken is sitting. I need to get a grip on my desserts is what I need to get. VIP table, let's go. How long did I pass, Michael? I'm ready, right now. Michael and Ralph are bringing the VIP main courses to the hot plate. Their families are sampling all three of the main courses tonight and do not know which one their loved one has prepared. I don't mind the steak and I don't mind the tuna. <laughs> oh, goodness. Back in the kitchen, with Jessica still trying to get a handle on the desserts, Michael has taken over her chicken dish. Together with Ralph, they have pushed out almost all of the main courses. Now we're moving. Two filet, two chicken, two tuna. One medium, one normal, yes? Yes, Chef, two minutes in the past. Chef, that's medium, medium rare on the beef, oh, yes? Ralph, Ralph, just called it away. One medium, one normal, and now you want to know again. Move your fucking arse and get up there and check for yourself, okay? Yes, Chef. Okay, Jess, how long for the desserts on 24 and 23? This you said like, six it's minutes? The souffle is in the oven. Um, yeah, Jess, fine. Jess, Jess, you've got to understand I'm getting right. incredibly pissed off. Got it. I need a time. How long for the desserts? Straight answer. Hurry up, because I'm really busy. Ah, uh, five minutes. Five right? minutes. Okay, Jean Philippe, desserts 23, 24. It's going to be another five minutes. Sorry about the delay. Oh my God, I really need help. Service, please. Keep it going. Keep it going, Mike. We got this. We got it. We got this. Well, if we're going to get it, I need a little help in the back. It... We're not going to be able to get there. Just figure it out. Make it pretty. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Jessica. Yes. That will 30 desserts away. Great, Chef. Hold it together, Jess. I don't know what to do at all. I'm fucking stalling. Let's go, Jessica. I'm trying, Chef. I'm Jessica, trying as hard as I can. Jessica. Hello. What? Yeah, don't, 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 don't start that bullshit. I'm just saying let's go. I'm trying to. A little bit to. of, yeah, well, 
You're not trying good enough for me, okay? Yes. I've asked for the desserts, no one's communicating. Okay. You're starting to get chippy. Got it. I'm getting nervous because no one's had dessert yet. Yes. That's I'm... what I'm getting nervous about. I'm nervous too, chef. Ralph, do you want to switch with me and you do desserts? Not right this second. This is just the worst. We got it, Michael. We got this, all right? It's in our sights. We're not going to complete a service if I don't get any help. Two and a half hours into dinner service, Jessica is trying to get back on track with her desserts. Uh, Jessica. Yes, Chef. I hope you're joking on that. Yeah, for as long as I'm alive, I'm not sending that. I can do third if you help dessert. I'm obviously choking Let me, up. I know, we're almost, let me get through all this and I'll be right over. With nowhere else to turn, Jessica breaks a cardinal rule. Chef, will you help me for a second? Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. I'm trying. Right, I'm trying to run the hot plate, okay. yes? All right. Yeah, I can't stop and shut the restaurant down because of you, sweetheart, Got yes? It. Come on, believe in your thing, yeah? I'm trying. Nothing I put out is right. Yeah, yeah. Shall you put one in the fridge, perhaps, and keep on working with this one? Yeah. What do you think? Yes, I think that's yeah. very smart. Yeah. I have two more tables. It's table five yeah. and table 51. Table five and 51. OK, I have something coming right now for you. OK, Jean-Philippe, what the fuck are you doing in there? Don't let me forget about these vignettes. I keep burning them. What's he doing in there? We've got a dining room to run. Wait, chef. OK, what's going on there? Jessica? Can we complete an order? I'm trying to, Chef, yes. Do you know what? You're I just never... A terrible time. I just... I, I can see that. I just... I'm not... I'm, I'm just not getting a complete answer. Can you just give me an indication what's going on? What can we send? What's happening? How long? Okay. I'm working on... Go on your section and tell me. I'm gonna go try to send as much as I can while I'm getting the supplies together. I can't get any desserts out. Jean-Philippe tried to help Jessica in the kitchen, and now he's trying to buy her some time in the dining room, where he tends to the finalists' families. The souffle, whenever it's ready, I'll bring it over to your table. But in the meanwhile, I will prepare a chocolate cake, otherwise it's going to be too long. Okay. Thank you. It's 10 to 10. I've got three tables left. Two tuna, one chicken, one fillet straight after. Ralph, are you helping to dress anywhere? I'm right behind you, Chef. Chef started counting down how many more dinners we had left. It was like the countdown for the New Year's Eve millennium, man. You just couldn't wait for it. Come on. Come on. Away now. God, am I... Uh, music to my ears. Hello, Ralph, Jessica and Michael. That's the last ticket. Let's do this, guys. Do you need help? You no, got I, got, I got it. You, go, okay. you start cleaning down that dessert station, waiting for us to get the hell over there, OK? Got it. It's a pigsty. Ralphie, are you ready? My friend Michael. Give it to me. How long? Dressing right now, Chef. Come on, Jessica, let's go. Dress, let's go. Dress the beef, Jessica. Beef, please. You need a wipe down. See, let's go. Right, Ray, yes. I'm going back to the dessert. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, la la. With all the main courses served, Ralph's was the most popular with 42 orders for the filet mignon. Jessica's chicken proved to be the second most popular dish with 34 orders, and Michael's tuna came in last with only 26 orders. Okay, wait, what, tell me what you need. Two chocolate cake, okay. two creme brulee, two shortcake. Okay, I can do the, um, the shortcake. How do we and... make your, how do we make your, uh, I got my pastry cream, what else? You know, I really want to complete a service, just to get a service done, that's all I care about. Now, the only thing between the final three and Chef Ramsay's objective is serving the desserts. This is very critically fucked up. Let's stop talking about how bad it is and let's just get it done. How long do we really want to wait for dessert? Let's go! So let's give dessert five more minutes and then we'll leave. Coming right now. Don't open that door. The souffles are in there. All right, dude. Play nice. Michael, give you a little bit demeaning, um, you know, on the line. And that doesn't help things now. You know, I was working my ass off. Count to 30 seconds and send the souffle, yeah? All right. I'm putting up 52 and 53. Another miracle. For the last table, guys. Come on. Yes. We're about to complete for the first time a fully served dining room. Come on. Yes, Chef. How long for that last souffle, please? It's coming right now, Chef. Hallelujah. Last table. Go, please. Go. Wow, that looks awesome. That does show it. Look at that. All right, come here. All of you. Right now, Michael. Ralph. OK, well done. Bloody well done. First time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we have completed a fully booked dining room. Starters, mains, and desserts. 
You three did it. Team, team, and team. And last night, none of us had any sleep. 24 hours virtually. And you know the most important thing about tonight's service? Did you see any food come back? No way. No. Did you see any dishes come back? No, nothing. And you know the most exciting thing for me, from a chef's point of view? Every dish looked the same. Spot on. Well done. I am a very proud man. A touch of bad news. I have to send one of you home tonight. Clear up. Chef. Now. It's chef. It was rough, you know? I wasn't given that much to work with, I didn't think. I had a couple soup plates come out good, though, my own. Beautiful. I think I did good, not great. A lot of people were ordering chicken, so that's definitely, you know, that was definitely a good thing. So how do you think we did, man? I'm nervous. What do you mean you're nervous? Who knows what's gonna happen? The filet and chicken sold more than my tuna, for sure. I'm gonna say a prayer to the chef gods that my performance was better than at least one other person. I don't want to take anything until it comes out of its mouth, man, because I'm just really fucking nervous right yeah, now. Yeah, so am I. Ain't nothing fucking set in this place. I would love to see Ralph go home tonight. He's my biggest threat, so I would love to not see him in the morning. This really has been the best ride ever, tough as it is. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I take a beating and I just keep coming back strong. I'm a fighter, you know, you can't push me down. Like, I will just keep coming back, always. The most intense emotional roller coaster ever. There will never ever be another hard service that I work again. This will be the toughest ever. With only two hours of sleep in nearly two days, the final three is about to become the final two. I had a feeling you guys would do well tonight. You did so well. You really did. And I'm happy. So, I have a little surprise for you. Michael. Chef. Here's your wife, Lola, and your in-laws, Christina and Jay. I've been through a lot of crap and working hard and not sleeping and really pushing it to the max. And when I saw my wife, it had all melted away. I didn't care about anything in the world except for her, and it was the best feeling in the world. <laughs> Jessica, say hello to your girlfriend, Courtney. <gasps> no way. And your mum and your sister. No way. Look at how pretty you look. I had been out for like 48 hours. Like I was at my wit's end. Like yeah, it was like so needed, and it really was like overwhelming. <laughs> I love you too. Ralph, here's your fiance Buffy. Oh, look at this. And your mum, and your uncle Richard. <laughs> That moment to see them, to be potentially the winner of this, that's great. I'm doing it for myself, but I'm doing it for her just as much. And I'm doing it for my family. Ralph, we got work to do, <laughs> as always. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. And boy, have you picked the right night to be here. Now, you're probably aware that all your families have been eating tonight. And they'll be helping me to decide on who has had the best dish in Hell's Kitchen tonight. At the end of dinner service, the families were asked to choose their favorite dish, unaware that their selection would impact their loved one's stay in Hell's Kitchen. Ralph. Yes, Chef. Your family first. Remember, Ralph made the filet mignon. Buffy. What was your favorite main course? Was it the filet mignon? Was it the chicken? Or was it the tuna? It was the tuna. 
The first vote goes to Michael's tuna. Ralph's mum. My favorite course was the tuna. Uncle Richard. I enjoyed the tuna best as well. Patrick, everybody loved the tuna. Maybe you want to help me get the knife out of my back. Jessica. Yes, chef. Let's ask your girlfriend, Courtney, which does she prefer? Remember, Jessica made the chicken. The tuna. The tuna. Interesting. Bonnie, which dish did you prefer? My favorite was the chicken. Your favorite was the chicken. Nice. Mum. The filet mignon. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. After two families, that's four tuna, one chicken and one beef. One family left. Michael. Chef. Let's talk to your dear wife, Lola. Remember, Michael made the tuna. Which dish did you prefer tonight? It was the beef. Oh. Wow. Jay. Mm hmm? At which dish did you prefer tonight? The filet. The beef. <laughs> Lastly, Christina. What did you prefer this evening? It was the tuna. Thank you. That's the final countdown. That's five votes for Michael's tuna. <laughs> One for Jessica's chicken. Three for Ralph's beef. <gasps> Jessica. Yes, Chef. Deep down inside, you know you weren't as good as Michael and Ralph. Darling, please give me your jacket. OK, Chef. It's time to leave Hell's Kitchen. You've got every reason to smile, because you've been amazing. Thank you. And I mean that. Well, thank you very much. Strong, clever, feisty, and never short of a word. <laughs> I like that in a woman. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Chef Ramsay was amazing. I mean, it was such an honor to work under him. I like hot things. Some people might not, and I guess you're one of them. It's burning my mouth off. I don't see what you're doing, you know? It's not your fault. From my own little Cinderella. Get back on your section and talk it? to me. Hey, I'm hello. To talk What's to this? You. I'm trying Get to back talk on your section. You. I'm here. Jessica, let's go. Can someone come and help me? Because I'm fucking up to my ears and shit. I'm getting screamed at. The blue team has a new talented cook, Jessica. And the cooking was spot on. <laughs> Jess, yes. you arrived through the front door. You deserve to go through the front door with your family. Bye, guys. Bye, well Jessica. done, Jess. Good luck. I worked hard and, you know, smart, and I think that's what helped me get this far. So no regrets at all. This was such a great experience and something I'll hold with me for the rest of my life. Michael and Ralph. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. You now stand before me as the finalist in Hell's Kitchen. Well done to you both, because one of you is going to win your very own restaurant. Congratulations. Now enjoy the moment with the family. Look at the tuna. The only way I can beat Michael is to be stronger, to keep on doing what I do, so I got to be perfect. I feel that Ralph doesn't have a chance. There's still one more step still to go, and until I get to that point, I'm not going to stop. Now we're down to the final two. This is it. But the fascinating thing about these two guys is they're both equally as good as one another. And this is where they have to now separate. Put everything they've learned from Hell's Kitchen and show me what they're made of. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs>